yeah, we're going to do a bit of um, hurricane servicing. 25 hour service on a hurricane, not just any hurricane. This one was an original Battle of Britain hurricane. Shot five enemy aircraft down during the Battle of Britain. So yeah, it's a proper hurricane. I want to get under the bonnet. You know what I mean? So before I can fly, I've got to sort of understand what does what and knobs and levers and switches and all that sort of caper. Yeah, but we want to see what makes it tick. Is he here? Oh, man, Mo. Now, Mo. How are you getting on, boss? Yeah, good, thanks. You? Yeah, all right, mate. Can I get you out, please? Sure. Yeah, we're just starting a 25-hour check. 25-hour check. Right. Yes. What's that involved? It normally involves plugs, points, camshaft check and then uh, a general look around the airframe. That's what I'm waiting for. If you can pull the lead ends off yep. and then we'll have the plugs out Stop. and have a look. Behind every pilot were at least five members of ground crew keeping their plane in good order. And Hurricane was, uh, in my view, a, a beautiful airplane. Much easier to work on than, than the Spitfire. Ah, I see. Doesn't it? And then it'll drop down, there's some little tags in the top. Yeah, that's a nice fit in there, that's isn't it? That's a good fit, yeah. Bullet holes and so forth could be patched up with a bit of fabric and dope. You couldn't do that with a Spitfire. And you can see, you know, it's all fabrics are quite easy to patch up and repair. What are we calling that? What are we calling that material? Uh, Irish linen. Irish linen. Just daub a bit of that over the top after covering a bullet wound. Oh, where you go again? Get cracking, boss. Get cracking, Spitfire, no, 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 because that's the structure of the plane. A lot more involved. Aluminium sheeting all over. So, yes, my, 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 what's that? I found the Hurricane uh, uh, a better aircraft to work on than, uh, than Spit. Today, interim servicing takes one day of careful work. In 1940, engine work had to be squeezed in between dogfights. That's not too bad. You would ask, can I do a 30-hour inspection on that particular aircraft if it was coming up for time? And a flight over would say, yeah, you can. You've got an hour and a half. Make sure you're ready. Give them a clean, just to degrease them. Just peril. Yeah, just get rid of the muck before they go in the tester. Probably in a wartime situation, they'd have a set of plugs ready to go. Right. A bit of a grip blaster. See? Brand new? Yeah, that's good. OK. After dry cleaning, each plug has its spark checked and gap adjusted. OK. Happy enough. Yeah, that's a good one. Spot on. Right. Touch so. on the thread. Then copper slip is applied before refitting. Just a bit of lubricant when you tie them up. They tie up a bit nicer and they come out a bit easier. It's like it's never been away. <laughs> it's good noise, that. Man. During the Battle of Britain, working in the hangars was just as dangerous as flying on the front line. Yep, enough. Yep. Ready for another 25 hours. Yep. RAF Kenley suffered a particularly heavy attack. Three or four Adonia. These 17s appeared over the top of the hangar. They were down to 50 feet or just, just cleared the hangar. And they sprayed everything. And I believe they were using time-delayed bombs to let them get away before the bombs went off. So I tell you, I moved and I moved quick. Yeah, go on. But work never stopped. That's you. They got a, a bulldozer in to fill the runway area. Uh, Holds up. That's her boy. Yeah. We managed to do that during the afternoon or what was left of the day. In fact, not a single airfield was ever shut down for more than 24 hours during the entire battle. Well, we've got the aircraft to get back again and get our price on again. <laughs> right hand, right foot. Every mechanic was working in the service of a pilot. All right, Mel. Yep. It was a relationship. I did tell the boy I did have a shower. Based on respect and trust. Right. What we're thinking? We'll look at the hydraulics, we'll test the flaps. In 1920 years old, 
And he's going full belt down the runway. No, I think they took a lot of guts to do that. So if you go right foot down, and then left foot down. These lads, they're mostly schoolboys. And you think if you don't get yourself calmed down, you're going to come to grief in not too long. Stick fully forward. Yep. And then stick fully back. And then we'll go left and right. You've got the odd one who will come back and start looping the loop over the top. And in my word, if the CO saw that, then he was in trouble and he didn't do it again. During dogfights, some ground crew against regulations would tune the hangars wireless to their pilots' frequencies. I have to say in my section, which I worked with radio people, we had a radio set going, so we, we knew what was going on. That was the interchange between the, the pilot and the, the ground control. Oh, uh, you'd hear the tallyo and, and so forth saying, oh, you've, they found them. So you're never sure uh, when you're watching the ground whether he's hit or whether he's, he's diving to get back up. Um, and the only way you would know that is uh, when the bang came or the, the smoke went up. Bad luck or good luck. Enemy bullets weren't the only hazard hurricane pilots faced. Their plane had a dreadful reputation for easily catching fire. As you can see with the panels off, um, the Spitfire had a, a nice aluminium firewall through yeah. there which protected you to some degree. Whereas you can see the, the fuel tank sitting here, it's just open straight down to where your legs etc are. So any, any hole in here, fuel just poured straight through. Right. Um, right. And the same with the, the wing tanks which is where I'm sitting now. If they, they got hold, the fuel would flow through and there's no actual barrier between the wings and the cockpit as they are oh, as there is hell. so if it got a spark and went up yeah you've all the hot coolant hoses down there and if you'd fired your guns if the fabric patches were gone you've got a draft through here and it literally was just like a furnace oh, as soon as you open the hood it just creates even more oh, more draft as well Nice fit there, mate. They do fit well, yeah. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that the bulk of our pilots were, uh, were better trained. Look at that, mate. There's no doubt about it. They destroyed, didn't they? Completely destroyed uh, the German Air Force. Well, thank you very much, boss. You're welcome. <laughs> Never lets us down, does our mode, does he? Hey, the man, the man. Let's see if it will start first. Yeah.